Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing extremely well today. So I'm so excited about today's video. I've created a look that I have never done before. It was kind of a little bit tricky, as you'll see during the video, but we got there in the end. Also, I'm doing this video in collaboration with Sigma. You guys all know that I've used Sigma ever since I've been on YouTube. They are one of my favorite, favorite, all-time makeup brands. They do amazing brushes. I think everybody knows about the Sigma brushes, but not everybody knows that Sigma also does amazing makeup. So I've done this video in collaboration with Sigma today, and I'm going to be using nothing but Sigma to achieve this look. I do have a discount code for Sigma as well. It gets you 10% off, so I'm going to put it in the description box down below along with every single product that I used in this video so that should you want to find anything that I used in this tutorial, it'll all be down there. Also, Sigma have very, very kindly offered to give away to one of my lucky followers the entire Sigma Nightlife makeup collection which is absolutely huge that is so much makeup and it's such a beautiful quality makeup as well so you'll get the eyeshadow palette the bronzer the blush the entire Sigma Nightlife collection which is probably the biggest giveaway I've ever done my microphone just died so if you don't already follow me on Instagram head over there give me a follow say hello and enter the giveaway and I'm so excited for whichever one of you is going to be lucky enough to win the entire Nightlife collection so that's enough for this intro I'm gonna get straight into the tutorial now and I hope you're gonna like it all right, let's get started. So I've already got my foundation on and now I'm going to apply my highlighter first before I set my face in place with powder. So the highlighter I'm using is from Sigma, obviously, and this is the liquid highlighter. It's called Afterglow. It's a beautiful opalescent kind of rose gold shade. Like it's not a white highlighter. It's a rose gold is how I would describe it. Anyway, I'm just going to apply this directly onto my cheekbones like that and then blend it out quickly before it sets in place. Hopefully this highlight is translating as well on camera as it is in my mirror right now. It's so pigmented, it's such a pretty color. It matches my top so well because my top is rose gold as well. Okay, now I'm gonna bronze my face. And the bronzer I'm using is this one here. This is the Limelight Bronzer. This is the only bronzer I've been using in my videos since like this year started. I just love the color. It's not too orange, but it's not too gray toned either. So it's like kind of the perfect neutral bronzer and it's completely matte. So if you have oily skin like me, this bronzer is gonna be your BFF. I'm gonna be applying it with the Sigma Large Angled Contour F40 brush. This is part of the Titanium collection. For my blush, I'm using this absolute beauty here. Look at the size of this blush. This is part of the Aurora powder collection from Sigma and the name of this particular blush is Pet Name. <laughs> Look how pretty that color blush is. To apply it, I'm again going in with the same brush that I used for my bronzer, but this is a clean one. I have two of these brushes. I'm just taking a small amount of it on my brush. Tap off the excess as always, and then I'm just going to really gently apply it to the apples of my cheeks to give me that really nice, healthy, flushed glow. All right, now before I move on to my eyes, I'm gonna save that part for last because that's the part I'm most excited about. I'm gonna do my lips. So for today, I'm wearing a combo of these two babies here. The lip liner I'm using is called In Fine Feather. And then the lipstick I'll be using is a really beautiful pinky nude and the color is called Dance Till Dawn. So I'm gonna outline my lips first and then fill them in with the lippy. And then I'm going to go in with the lipstick. This color is so pretty. And I'm going to apply this with the lip brush as well so I get it nice and precise. And now I'm going to move on to the eyes. I'm so excited for this part. I'm feeling really creative today and I want to make something really pretty. So the palette I'm using today is the Sigma Nightlife by Camilla Coho palette in Nightlife. I could not have made that more complicated if I tried. Basically, it's part of the Nightlife collection by Camilla Colho, and the name of the palette is Nightlife. By the way, guys, don't mind my absolutely beautiful nails. I noticed they started peeling and stuff, so I'm trying not to paint them for a little while to let them regenerate. In this palette, you have the most beautiful colors. There's a mixture of mattes, shimmers, and sparkles. So the color I'm going in with, first of all, is this really, really light top at the very top of the palette, and this color is called Panache. To apply it, I'll be using the Sigma Tapered Blending E40 brush. Again, this is from the titanium brush set and this is going to act as our transition shade so I'm going to be applying this all over my lid then with the same color panache I'm taking the Sigma E25 blending brush which if you guys haven't seen my favorite brushes video yet I'll put a card to it 
in the top right hand corner here. Here it is. So if you haven't seen that yet, you can click on that card and watch my favorite brushes video. As a little spoiler, this guy is my favorite brush in the entire world. Anyway, with this brush, I'm going to be applying panache underneath my lower lash line. It's probably about time I zoom you guys in as well so you can see what I'm doing. Hi. I want this to be super soft and smoky on the lower lash line to kind of balance out the top lid. So the color I'm going in with next is this one here. It's just a darker version of panache. Basically, yeah, darker and warmer. And this color is called After Hours. I'm going in straight away with my E25 now and I'm gonna be applying this in the dome shape. If you guys have hooded eyes, hopefully you'll already know what my dome shape technique is. But if you don't, I'm gonna put a card to it right here. If you have hooded eyes, you need to watch it. It is the best eyeshadow technique for hooded eyes, in my opinion. Anyway, I'm applying this in the dome shape to my eye. <laughs> ah, this color is so pigmented, I love it. And now what I'm going to do is go back in with my E40 and blend around the edge to soften it up and to make it look smokier. Then I'm going back in with the E25 with the same colour and I'm applying a small amount just to my lower lash line. Kind of just in the middle of my lower lash line. Now I'm going in with this matte highlighting shade here. This color is called Skyline, and I'm gonna be applying it to the inner corners of my eyes and the arch of the brow bone. And the brush I'm using is a Sigma Pencil E30 brush. Oh, so pigmented, help. I'm also gonna be a bit wild and put some on the tip of my nose to kind of give it that ski slope effect, which I don't have. My sister has the best ski slope nose, so does my mom actually. I don't. I miss that jean. Right, now I get to do the fun stuff. I've been waiting for this. So for the fun stuff, I'm using some glitter. Yay! So the glitter I'm using is from this set here. This is part of Sigma's glitter sets. You kind of buy a set like this and it comes with three different colored glitters inside. So the one I'm using today is called Cosmic Dream. So the collection of glitters is called Cosmic Dream, but the glitter I'm using within that collection is called Stella Glitter. I'll show you guys up close. Hopefully you can see that this glitter is a beautiful rose gold colored glitter. But wait, hold that thought. I just thought of something else I wanna do before I move on to that step. I'm gonna line my lash line with a black matte eyeshadow. So for that, I'm going in with a black matte eyeshadow from the palette and it's called Leather Pants. <laughs> I like that. And the brush I'm using is the Sigma Smudge A21 brush. I'm also gonna get a little bit of tissue because I don't want this falling on my foundation. And I'm gonna just kind of run this through the roots of my top lashes. Now I've got lash extensions on at the moment, so I'm gonna kind of dot it on because I don't want to destroy my lash extensions. I only got them put on yesterday, I love them. But it's gonna give me that kind of sexy, sultry, smoky lash line effect. And it's so easy to do, like you pretty much can't make a mistake with this. It's nothing at all like a winged liner where you have to be so careful and so precise and it's probably still gonna go wrong. This is like so easy that anybody could do it. All right, now we're gonna move on to the glitter. Now I should say before we get started, I'm gonna create a kind of winged liner with this glitter. So it's probably gonna be a little bit difficult, but bear with me, let's see how I go. Let's use Striker. So I've got a winged eyeliner brush here from Sigma and the brush I'm using, if I can get its little cap off, I put that on too well. This brush is called the Eyeliner E05 brush. It's an excellent winged liner brush. And I've got a bit of eye primer on the back of my hand here, like eye glitter glue. And I'm going to put that on my brush and then apply the glue as though it was my winged liner because then my glitter will stick to it nice and easily, in theory. I'm going to have to hold my lash extensions down for this. This is so weird. So I'm literally applying the glue as though it was a winged liner. So I'm trying to keep it really neat and flick it out like that on the side. Now before that dries in place, I'm quickly going in with the detailed lip brush, L04 brush from Sigma in that Stella glitter that I showed you. And I'm gonna apply that directly on top of the glue. This glitter is so bloody pretty.
So that's kind of messy, but what I'm going to do is give that a few minutes kind of just to set in place and to stick to the glue. Then I'm going to take a blending brush and really carefully dust off the excess that's not stuck down by the glue. All right, so I've got the glitter on both my eyes and I'm going to take a relatively clean blending brush. I'm going in with the Sigma E35 and I'm going to really carefully just dust off any glitter that's not stuck down to the glue. Yay, it's working. Now for my bottom lash line, I'm going to apply some eyeliner to the waterline. The one I'm using is called Balance and it's a kind of deep mahogany brown shade and it's got a slight fleck of glitter through it. So it's going to really nicely complement the rose gold glitter on our eyes with the bottom lash line. Now because I've got my eyelash extensions, I'm not going to apply any mascara or false lashes to my top lashes, but I am going to apply a little bit of mascara just to my bottom lash line. And now I'm going to do my eyebrows finally and the look will be complete. I can't stop looking at this glitter, it looks so pretty. For my eyebrows, as per usual, I'm going in with the Sigma Medium Brow Powder. I use this all the time on my brows, I absolutely love this powder. So pigmented, stays put all day, and it's a perfect matte. I mix these two colors together. I use the darker brown towards the middle and tail end of my brow, and then I use the lighter shade on the inner corners of my brows to give it that kind of ombre effect. Oh, by the way, the brush I'm using is the Sigma Angled Brow E75 brow brush. I love this brush. It's firm, but it's tiny, so you can really make those hair-like strokes. I look so weird with one eyebrow on and one not. I need to get my brows tattooed again, actually. So here we go guys, this is the finished look. I really hope you like how it turned out. I'm in love with it, I think it's so pretty, so feminine. And this eye look is just quite different, I think. Using glitter as your winged liner is kind of a bit weird, but I love how it turned out, I think it's so pretty. So I hope you guys like how it turned out as much as I did. As always, let me know in the comments section down below what you think of this look. Make use of the thumbs up and the thumbs down. If you liked this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down because you guys can have your say, that's what they're there for. As I said at the start of the video, I will link every single product including all the brushes and everything that I used in the description box down below so you can find anything that I used really easily. I do also have that 10% off discount code for Sigma which I'll put on the screen right here and I'll also put it in the description box down below for you. And don't forget I'm going to be doing that massive massive Sigma Nightlife collection giveaway where you can win the entire Sigma Nightlife collection of makeup which is huge and super super exciting. So I'm going to put my Instagram handle right here. If you don't already follow me on Instagram come over and follow me and enter the giveaway. I'll also have all my other social media in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!